kings and queens and welcome to my channel. I'm so sorry that this video has taken so long to get out. I'm hoping to get one video out to you guys every two weeks and hopefully that will keep me on point. I know you've all been asking me what I've been using to help grow my hair and to make it thick and healthier. So today I'm going to be showing you my hair growth oil mix which has allowed me to get to this length. Um, I'll just pull it up so I can show you the actual length of my hair. That's at the top. And then from the bottom. I hope you enjoyed the video guys. Stay blessed, stay conscious. Uh, so I know my hair is a bit out there today, but I just want to encourage you guys to start wearing your natural hair and to love your hair because this is the hair that you was born with and this is the hair that you was meant to have. Um, I myself am starting to wear my hair more natural. Um, sometimes I go out like days like this and I know it's not easy and it has to be a brave thing for you guys to do but just think about it for the future. So today I'm going to show you the mixtures of oil that I put in my hair. I usually just use any oils that are in my house and that I can find in the kitchen or in the bathroom or in my bedroom and I just put this together. Um, I do have some oils coming in the post and I am waiting for them but for now I'm just going to show you what I do with the oils that I use. If you are going to try this oil mix, try and get the oils as pure as possible because there are a lot of oils that are not pure and so they're not really doing as well for your hair as you think they are or as you think they would do. Um, so I just urge you to try and get cold as oils when you're ordering it or when you're buying it from the shops. I usually use this hair mixture, hair mixture, oil mix, oil mix, oil mixture. Um, every other day but for some people that will be too much build up you have to make sure that your scalp is clean and when you're using the oils your scalp can get built up quite quickly so you need to ensure your hair is clean and you wash it a little bit more often um, if not you can use it like twice a week which is what I do do sometimes depending on how my hair is and what I feel my hair needs I use this oil oil I use this oil mixture in my hair um, to moisturize it you can use it in your scalp or in your actual hair and I actually use it in both. Um, I've realised that since I've started using it my hair's got a lot thicker and healthier and I'm loving to see the growth that's happening. I don't feel like I need to use any other products because this is what I wanted my hair to do and it's really been happening. My hair was permed um, a year and a half ago and if this has all grown out in a year and a half. So I'm going to show you what I do. I bought this applicator bottle from the hair shop, um, they're not really expensive and this is what I use to make it easy for the oil to get into my scalp, especially if I have a protective styling. So I'm just going to show you now. So what we're going to do is just mix all the oils together. Now some people have said to me that's too many oils all mixed in one and I don't really feel that's right because there's so many ingredients in one product that is not natural, that it doesn't even matter what you put in here, it will be much, much better and safer for your hair than what's ever in those products that you're using at the moment. So I'm just going to go in, I hope I don't spill this everywhere, and I guess how much I want in there, depending on what the oil is, um, I kind of just fill, fill this up, it doesn't really matter how much oil I put in, but let's just go. Probably should have done this on the table. Going in with the castor oil. Just warning you that this can get very messy. Um, just going with the avocado oil. You can just add as much as you want, you don't have to fill this whole thing up, it's totally up to you. Um, you can use other oils such as almond oil, emu oil, any oil really. Um, I can't use almond oil because I'm allergic to nuts so that wouldn't be really good. Just going in with the vitamin E oil now. Just going to go in now with the argan oil, I mean sorry not argan oil, 
I used to like putting coconut oil in here, but because it gets solid at room temperature, it then starts getting really hard for the oils to come out, and then it, I get really frustrated because I'm like this, and mm. I'm like squeezing the bottle and nothing's coming out because all the bits of the coconut oil is quite thick, so it gets to the top of the nozzle, and then it's hard for the coconut oil to come out. In the summer it's fine, but in the winter it will start going solid and become a bit more difficult, so this is the first time I'm going to leave it out of my oil mixture, so I'll see how it goes. The last two oils, um, lavender and tea tree, they will make your mixture smell um, refreshing and nice. Um, you can't use these on their own, so never do that because they can be irritating, but they are good for your hair and they're not essential, so if you don't have these, you don't need to put it in, um, but I like to. And then you just add a few drops. And you can just add as you go along, if it starts going down, add any oil that you think would be good. Um, please do your research on these oils as well. So before I use it, I just shake the bottle. And I separate my hair. I'll probably leave it at the front for you guys. Separate my hair. And just across here. And then just massage it into your hair. I used to do, I used to do, I usually also, if my hair's in a protective style, I spritz it with horsehair before putting this in as a moisturiser. Um, I do do that sometimes when my hair's out as well, however I don't like the shrinkage when I'm spritzing it with water, um, especially if I'm going out like now. So, yeah, and you just do that all over your head and you can give your head a nice massage. And if you do that often it will stimulate your hair growth. And because you're putting natural oils in your hair as well, your hair's gonna like it. I really urge you to try and try this oil mix. Um, I can say that hands on heart, it's done me wonders and it's been excellent for me. Um, obviously everyone's hair's different, but I don't know how you could go wrong with using natural products. Also guys, please start embracing your natural hair. Um, this is what's been given to you and it's lovely, it's nice, It's kinky it's different it's edgy and just you know start experimenting with your hair try different things and yeah just enjoy your hair don't be ashamed of it because it's yours and it's beautiful and just always remember that guys stay conscious stay blessed and i'll see you guys soon